interesting things, right, that in in this matchup too, is that Lucas, um, Lucas is, you know, his zoning tools like PK Fire, unlike Ness, aren't multi hits, right? They're a lot harder for Bowser to, or they're a lot harder for Bowser to kind of deal with. It's much easier for Lucas to keep Bowser out in this matchup. And once you hit a hit Bowser, right? A character with Lucas's combo game is just gonna rack that person on. Exactly, right? So Crit's already on the receiving end of quite a lot of damage, right? This is the great strength of Bowser and Cold Display, right? We have the ability to get damage very, very quickly. And on a character like this, who's kind of floaty, uh, can be very quickly, and you can take the stock as well right behind it. But still, we need one good edge guard. And Crit, I would say, is a very, very good uh, player who knows how to edge guard very well with the game. Yeah, and I mean, Lucas has a lot of tools for that ledge guard, for that edge trap too. Has the recovery mix up with the tether, as we saw there, giving him a lot of tools to get back to stage. Beautiful momentum stall with that dare or air, giving him just a, a, enough extra space to find his way back. And now we're seeing that defensive play come out, right? Okay. Trying to zone out, but all it takes is one read from Bowser. Exactly, right? That big out, like that range potential, that you can just like reach out and like just use a kill move so quickly and, and less. Less risky, I would say, even because if he missed, like Chris, I don't know what Chris would have done in reaction. Probably wouldn't have been expecting it. And oh. there's the dare, but missed the last spot. However, it's Lucas, right? You got that float, you got that bat, the back air, and that back air. I, that that move is so cool. So I'm cool. just gonna say it. It's so back cool. Backflip with the spike at the end, like so cool. Oh. All and, right. And now, right, we're seeing Bowser having Lucas in the corner. This character's floaty. He's light. He dies easy, but. Lucas racking up that damage, and once you're at 60%, yep. that's where it gets scary. We see it right there, just not able to get out of the corner. Bowser's linear recovery really coming in uh, to hurt him, and ooh, that was just a... Runoff fair, that's the Bowser special. I mean, that's yeah. kind of what you gotta do against this character who likes to stall off stage. Yeah. You gotta do something here, and that's gonna do it. Uh, yeah. uh, side B will absolutely secure it, but we are dead even, or at least we were dead even, uh, to, oh, to one stock apiece. Let's see if we've got... Uh, the gas in the tank to make this edge guard a zero to death or yeah. not. And anybody who says that ne that that uh, that um, the Earthbound kids only spam PK fire online, well, there's your counter. There's your counter argument right there. We see the ma we just see it coming in. Right in this case, it is just the matchup. Sometimes you just got to keep Bowser out because once he gets in, we're seeing him rack on this percent. It only takes six hits for a stock, and right now, right Murren's at four or five. He's only one or two away. Oh, yeah, looking for another one of these backers, and yeah, off stage is the PK freeze time. This is what this is going to be going for, and it's just going to go for it again. Yeah. Like, literally, I just wait and I read it out, and then if I don't, I down smash. I plenty yeah. of time to do all this stuff, by the He's, way, because I'm Lucas. Mm -hmm. But Marin's routes are really good. Unfortunately, that high recovery oh. just missed the platform and left to an extension, but he's finding his way out of this. These disadvantages, really, after that, after that zero to death, really all off stage in the corner, he's really just hasn't let Crits pin him down again uh -oh. at all. And that grab, not gonna do it, but the next one will, even with the staling. This is Bowser with Max Rage we're talking about. Uh, Crits finding his way out of the corner, though, looking to make it happen, and now finding the reversal. Yeah, yeah. yeah got impatient. Literally, and, that, and sometimes impatience can benefit you, right? Mm -hmm. Crits sitting there saying, like, look, You've gotten around this enough times. I like waiting around and like seeing where you're going to go and just like preparing for your movement. But if you're just going to try to mix me up and just kind of stay back and wait for it to explode and then go back in, I'm going to find you out there. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do it. And he yeah. does it because it's like, why, why wouldn't you? It's free. It's literally free. Press the button. Well, is it free or is it freeze? It's free because it's not DLC. Well, and it's, and it's free. And it's free. I, yeah. I, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a fun fact though, Lucas uh, drops like a whole tier on the tier list if you're playing against a box player because they got that, that perfect match all the time. Yes. Anyways, um, getting into game two here on Town and City, and this is Marin's counter pick, and I have to imagine that part yep. of it is these small, smaller side blast zones and and these side platforms allowing him to get really early kills off of side B, find those platforms extensions with fair, and really just pressure Lucas's movement a lot more consistently. Yeah, absolutely. And not only that, but like, uh, not in this layout, but the one where the platforms are farther on the sides, the back air is so big. Yeah. You cover the entire platform oh. and you kill super easily. And we've still got that even on the top yeah. blast zone, the eye saying. mix up look like. Yeah, and he, I mean, also you just don't really expect Bowser to come up there for you with an up air like that off that platform, or really just caught crits, I think, a little bit unawares. 
and trying to just beautiful SDI as well to get out of the, that nair air, which would have just continued to combo into itself, looking for the extension. But again, Marin's defensive play this game has been so fantastic. Absolutely. And there's a reason why that was a zero to death, is because he played that so immaculately. And uh, Crit's now struggling to make up that deficit. We've got a nice reset into the grab here. We get a couple pummels as well. Uh, Marin not on the ball in terms of mashing just yet, but we're going with one of those aggressive aerial PK freezes. That's when yeah. Fritz is starting to like really go for some like movement tech that is uh, very unusual yeah. and it's really just it's something that works once. And the back throw, unfortunately, him choosing to pick that instant back throw meant that the platform wasn't moving yet. If he had just waited a second, if he had gotten a single pummel, that back throw would have killed. Oh, instead though, yeah, oh, 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 he doesn't find, find the stock. Wow. Uh, now, though, finally racking on some damage, looking to make it happen, finding the corner situation here, Nerf. Uh-oh, yeah, and then we got one of these, but it was just a little bit misplaced. Obviously, it can be good if you get the timing right. Good DI, but wow, 100 post hit, and you almost died there. This yeah. is town and city, baby. And Nair, and Nair back air, just oh, such God. a strong kill from, from Bowser, and there's that side platform coming in, right? Like, it being so high up and so close, uh, just so close to the corner means that, that Bowser, you know, Bowser Slime is just going to kill you at ridiculous percents. Yeah, absolutely. And looking for that. Wow, the Bowser Bomb. Didn't expect that out of anything. What a call out. But Crit's going to evade that appropriately. This Nair has been so dangerous. Uh, Mirren has been getting a lot off of it. Getting a call out with a forward smash too. What is happening right now? And the Bowser Bomb again coming in. Clutch in the fair. There, Mirren's really turning this up. Looking for the game three, but go anding a little bit antsy with that spike. Oh. And <laughs> you gave Crit an opening, right? He's been so good yeah. at racking on, on oh. Damage in these advantage states. It's an opening, but all you need is one side. Mm -hmm. Mirren is literally just like, poke my shield, I dare you. Poke my shield, I've got a command grab, do it. One side B, one F smash, you're almost at fair kill range, you're almost at up air kill, or up tilt kill range. Yeah, and there's the side B, yep, 130, that's gonna, no, not wow, yet. Close. Wow, close. From center stage, yeah. Beautiful. It's oh, but that you big got corner. this? Ah, okay, wait, wait a second, Lucas with full rage. What could, what could, wait, what could yeah. Lucas do with full rage? Oh. And, and the sweet spot on the fair just to rack on. That that single fair did it like 25%. No and now he's got it in the high recovery. That, oh, no he, he went for the grab. I think he might have actually been able to get an F smash. Uh, if Mirren loses this, oh my I'm God. going to be so... For that oh down air. My God, he got, got the, the grab? Got the down air. Oh, oh no, he's dead. Oh, no. He's dead. <laughs> Nerf, he let it be him. He let it be him. I... I didn't. I didn't mean to do. I didn't do that. I didn't jinx that, no, right? No, Did no, I do no. that? No, I, I didn't, didn't do that. The only person who jinxed that, I didn't do that. wall caster cursing is a real thing. The only person who jinxed that at game was Marin. He got over aggressive. Help. He felt overconfident, and that dare he died at like twenty. Someone's gonna perform the Heimlich maneuver on this man. He is choking. Yeah. No. It, it, Bowser, it's called Flying Fortress, not Falling Fortress, buddy. Got but uh, unfortunately, just the only place Mar Mirren was flying that game was into the blast zone. Ouch. And just crits so patient finding those grabs over and over, just saying, okay, PSD. I could maybe get more damage in one interaction, but my ledge traps, my corner, my my ability to maintain my advantage state out of the corner has been so good. I'm just gonna grab you and do it again. It was the confidence to go for a down air. It was the confidence to go for a down air and then just dies and just like, well, it's all downhill from here, folks. Yeah. And it, it's so unfortunate too, because it wasn't even that like, like, crits, you know, dodged out of the way or did some fancy movement deck. Just play, Murray play. just missed. Just play, yeah. No. He, just, he just and it, and it he happens. Just, it happens. He literally to was like, but, he was charging up at the beginning mm -hmm. thunder. He's just like, I'm just gonna go down. He's like. Yeah. Was, it, it was, was a little bit it was what, right. smash, a little it, was a, it was smash factor eight i want to say that leo when i think leo went off against mars like or someone thing last like last stock la of game oh. five of grand mm. and just misses his dare misses and dies completely yeah yeah so like it happens even when you're the best player it in the happens world. it happens you're the best player in the world does that yeah. that's true that's true so but, yeah, you know, if you're gonna go for that you better make sure